Americans feared that the enemy would take advantage of their freedoms, that agents of communism were undermining America. A Soviet spy ring unearthed in 1946 led investigators to Alger Hiss, who had been a wartime foreign policy advisor. He was accused of passing secrets to the Soviet Union by a former communist, Whitaker Chambers. Have you ever seen this individual who is standing? I have. Do you know him? I identify him. In 1935 was the last time that you saw him. According to my best recollection, not having checked the record. Now, would you remain standing a moment, Mr. Hiss? Do you know... Hiss firmly denied that he had betrayed his country. New evidence of communist activities in government circles is promised by the House Committee on Un-American Activities. Microfilm reportedly found in a pumpkin on a Maryland farm is examined by investigator Stripling and Congressman Nixon. Richard Nixon, an ambitious young Republican, was convinced that Hiss was lying. It is the intention of the Committee on Un-American Activities to pursue this investigation until we put the spotlight on those high officials in the State Department who were responsible for selling this country down the river. Hiss was jailed for perjury. Nixon's name was made. He turned his crusade against communism into a weapon for Republicans. It was what made him. It paved the way for, for his whole career afterwards. Anti-communism was a gut issue with Nixon. I mean, it was something he believed sincerely and deeply, but of course he was a politician too. And he was a Republican politician, and the soft on communism issue was hurting the Democrats. And of course he used it. He would have been a fool not to. In America, patriotic enthusiasm for the democratic way of life reveals itself in a monster loyalty parade in New York. Everyone from vets to youngsters reveals his inborn dislike of communism. Anti-communism became the language for a new, more defiant vision of America.